Hi, I'm Gary Eberly, I'm owner, former winemaker, uh, chief cook and bottle washer at Eberly Winery in Paso Robles. Uh, I've been in Paso Robles since May of 73 when I came down from UC Davis. I spent uh, a better part of two years up there working on a doctorate in, say, in uh, uh, enology with a minor in viticulture. I came to California from another doctoral program in sale of genetics out of chair, uh, Charity Hospital in New Orleans to make Cabernet. And uh, uh, Cabernet is the grape that, and the wine that, that piqued my imagination. I just had an epiphany and said, you know, I don't want to be a geneticist anymore. I want to be an alcoholic. And went to Davis discovered uh, through Doc Omo, who was on my committee, uh, the clone that I wanted to use from Cabernet, and that was uh, the clone uh, grown on the Madame de Pins vineyard. That was George Latour's daughter, and it was the wine, uh, the grapes in the vineyard that exclusively were used to make the BV Private Reserve wines until I think 80, 75, when Hublin bought it. But it's a very shy producing clone. It's a small berry essentially a, a piece of skin wrapped around four seeds, but it makes it very intensely uh, flavorful, a lot of fruit. Uh, total phenolics are always running around 1450, and uh, the uh, uh, wine is rarely, in fact, you've got to really have a bad vintage to wind up with a, uh, uh, a bitterness on the wine. Uh, always, you know, you have to be judicious about using free one light press and heavy press wine because I think all, all three wines really give different parts, different components and different flavors uh, as well as ageability uh, to a specific Cabernet. But uh, this has uh, always been my wine uh, as much as you know, it's it really, at this point, it's kind of funny because it's the only Bordelais variety. I mean, I really don't work with uh, the others. We got a couple that we, but, uh, you know, we're also major Rhone producers, but this is still my flagship. This is the wine that I live for. This is the wine I'm drinking every afternoon. It makes my teeth purple, so I have to make sure that I brush my teeth every morning. And... Uh, this is just the wine, this is it, Eberly, and it's all over Texas. It's our second largest market after California. California, Texas, those are one, two for us. Uh, I love Texans, they're a bunch of alcoholics. Uh, works well for us, and uh, thank you very much.